Yo, 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 what is good, guys? What is YouTube? We're back with another video on the channel today. We got a little something special for you. We got a draft reaction video. As you guys may or may not know, the NBA draft happened last uh, Thursday, Friday. Ah, uh, you guys watched the draft. But for those of you who didn't watch the draft, or this is for those of you who did, we're going to be having a little reaction each the top five picks then at the end we're gonna have a little honorable mention you're definitely gonna love it stay tuned let's get lit it <laughs> bro my storage does not work the way you think it does all no, right he's making sure my hair was good all right you close the door musical instruments you, want you in the shot and it just automatically oh. stops recording Yo, we got my boy Fonzie Chronicles on deck for this one. Definitely gonna see, get those, definitely gonna be seeing a lot more of him on the channel. So let's get started. Let's get lit. Yeah. They thought that they trying to get calmer. Come on. This ago we got been stacking them ends and I'm snatching them rape in the morning. Right. I was the nigga locked up in the cell and they treated me like I was normal. Normal. Taking the love for the blessings. All right. First pick. Let's get started. With the first pick in the 2017 NBA draft. The Philadelphia 76ers select Markel Fultz from the University of Washington. Honestly, I can say this was expected. Bro, we all knew from about two to three months ago that Markel was going first. It didn't even matter if Boston had traded that pick or not. And the reason that I feel like Markel was going to go first anyway is because how long has been Lonz has LeVar Ball been talking about, oh, my boy is going to the Lakers more. Put my, for put Lakers. my boy. <laughs> yeah. Playing for the Lakers, boy. Put my boy on Steph Curry and see who come out with the better uh, oxtail chicken. <laughs> Not irrelevant in this face that ass. Markel is a great player. Honestly, personally, I think Lonzo is better. Yo, can we talk about his uprising, bro? Markel is really a dog. No funny. Like, bro, studying on how he came about, like, Homeboy was like, what, 5'9? Five 5'9 nine? Five nine in high school? Definitely. Got me. But yo, I really do mess with that. Like, he had to have some HGH supplements to song. Uh, <laughs> that boy don't stress his old ligaments. I mean, how do all these players do this, bro? All these players be coming out, bro. They enter high school like 5'6. Yo, I, when I, I finished high school, head. I was 6'5. Like, I what? Super bro, when I finished high school, I grew a cool two inches throughout the whole high school. <laughs> this shit is dope, bro. Yeah, I had my growth spread in kindergarten or song. Uh, but, yeah. We off to the next pick. Shout out to also, if they stay healthy, the Sixers could really be some dogs. Bro, yeah, seriously, if the Sixers stay healthy, I wouldn't say they're playoff bound. I mean, if they could be the seventh of the eight seed, I mean, seeing what Giannis Antetokounmpo was able to do with the Bucks this year and how oh he's been able God. to really revolutionize his game. I'm telling you, when LeBron retires, Giannis Antetokounmpo will be the best player in the NBA. I don't want to hear arguments about that. All right, he, bro. It's, I don't want to hear arguments about it's disgusting. Bro. Giannis is the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and bro. all of the truth. Giannis is the real process. All right, trust the process like it's waves. We off to the next pick. With the second pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Lonzo Ball from UCLA. <laughs> Big ball, red. Yo, before we can even talk about Lonzo, LeVar is a marketing god. He needs to write a book. Dude, he needs to come out. You know how, like, you be watching YouTube and stuff? He owns and all Chino these marketers Hills, be coming out, like, oh, join my program. Bro, one day you're going to be watching YouTube videos, you're going to see an ad from LeVar Ball. Join my marketing program, and I'll teach you the ways to stuff. This dude, <laughs> bro, from Chino Hills. But I'm telling you, man. Lonzo going to LA is a great thing. It was pretty much confirmed that Lonzo was gonna get dropped to the Lakers. He had to pull some strings, if anything. But like, that's not even credit. With the D'Angelo being traded to the Nets, it was pretty much obvious at that point they were gonna pick up Lonzo. Cause why else would you trade, you know, the number two pick from him? And I feel honestly, him, him and um D'Angelo in the front court would have probably been a serious issue. If they built good team chemistry, that. Call me crazy, that probably could have been a potential Scotty and Michael, but ew, ew, I'm not trying to get I don't I'm know. not trying to get controversy on him. Like I mean like to, I'm not trying to get toasted. The thing about D'Angelo is he's one of those players that like you don't really want to play with. He's kinda of like a Russell Westbrook. And from what I've seen from him on the court and from what Magic has released to the press, he wants a leader, you know, that's not so ice in the veins, but you know what I mean? More team leader, more of a passing guy, pass first guy, and kind of brings the team up. 
And D'Angelo isn't really that kind of guy. Bro. D'Angelo talking about, I'll pass the ball and you grow hair. I'm hip, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, right? <laughs> Bonzo going to the Lakers, definitely expected. We all knew this was going to happen. The way the trades worked out with Boston trading their pick and Philadelphia basically telling them, yo, we want Markel. Oh, so, yeah, we off to the next pick. With the third pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum from Duke University. All right. This pick, I think it's a bit more. I feel like that was a negotiable trade. If I didn't pick him. Yeah, I don't. I don't I feel see, like he was bait. Yeah, I don't really see Jason really staying in Boston for any time. He was a time. business move, if anything. Like, yeah, Danny Ainge. Is, he's a good I'm physical you, body. Yeah, Danny Ainge has been making a lot of moves lately. I don't really see Jason staying in Boston for very, very long, especially with them wanting to sign Gordon Hayward this summer. You might see Jason Tatum have a short lived adventure up in Boston. Danny Ainge, like you said earlier, man, like ever since like his whole trade mentality is just something else. Like he be trading players like Pokemon cards. At first I trusted it, but then with that whole Jeff Green trade and then like how he's trying to do that real rebuilding processes, like because how it started is the Celtics don't even have that much cap. Or they probably mm, definitely do. I mean they, I think they have a lot of cap. They definitely have room for one more max deal, if not two. Um, with signing Al Horford last year, that's a pretty big yeah, deal. Man, I really don't want to see them move Isaiah Thomas, but looking into the future, you know, with getting the number one seed last season, you could definitely kind of They're see them move around Isaiah. Yeah. Yeah. To, to kind of give them a better edge against the LeBron James. They picked up some mediocre players just to kind of fill in the, the, the starting five roster, but like, I feel they're that type who, who are just going to go off based on like a two or one all star type team deal franchise player thing. Jason Tatum coming in. I feel like he's just another pawn, man. man. And that's no disrespect to Jason. He's a great player great bills great hair. but yeah great <laughs> hair dude man the light-skinned dude i don't really see the light skin staying in boston so we off to the next pick y'all with the fourth pick in the 2017 nba draft the phoenix suns select josh jackson from the university of kansas josh, josh jackson josh oh my god man Josh Jackson, no funny. I really thought he was gonna go top three a couple months ago when I was watching March Madness. This dude is a great two-way player, man. Roof! Gets at it on defense, gets at it on offense, does not stop working. I really like Josh Jackson. And for Phoenix, Phoenix has been uh, kind of working through the levels with these draft picks. I haven't really been seeing Phoenix. Phoenix, did they have a really go about this like strategically? Because Devin Booker is an upcoming dog. He's a walking green bean in 2K. So I know for a fact, if you just give him two more years, because he's emulating everything Kobe does, and he has a very good killer mentality. If you add that with like what you said with that whole defensive mentality that Josh Jackson has, and with Devin, you know, like you don't really get a star with Josh Jackson. And I really like his game, but I don't really see him. You could expect with that two-way kind of player that you're getting with Josh, you know, a Kawhi type player, but like you're not really getting Kawhi type intensity, right? So you're not gonna automatically get someone. What Phoenix needs is someone who's gonna come off, immediately compliment Bledsoe, Booker, and add that little tandem, you know, to kind of give him a fighting chance in the West, because the goal really is here to kind of yeah, get kind that of five to eight seed, right? And, and make the playoffs for the first time in a while. So maybe Josh can do it for him. Maybe Josh might surprise me, but I don't really see Josh Jackson becoming the star that we might expect him to be. Sidebar, let me know in the comments if you believe that the West has more competition than Down the below. East does. Because I swear, this is probably the Reason walking now, biggest baby. debate oh. ever. The West has so much competition. East, I don't know, the East is starting to come up, man, because... East has so many All-Stars, the but they're all dismantled on different, like... The West is really starting teams, to shrink bro. in the manner that Golden State is so overpowering now in the West that, like... Golden it, State, it, it, it kind of becomes Spurs, a different level. Houston... The whole NBA revolves around, I want to beat out the Warriors for a final spot, or I want to beat out the Cavaliers for a final spot. So we're definitely going to see what happens this season. Personally speaking, I think it's going to be another Cavs-Warriors matchup in the finals, but I guess we just got to wait and see. We're off to the next pick. The 2017 NBA Draft. The Sacramento Kings select De'Aaron Fox from the University of Kentucky. There's old John Calipari, who's now produced a top 10 NBA. Woo -hoo -hoo! 
Ow! Oh, that's a wolf. But that's this fox. Speed kills with this kid, bro. This kid really fox. is a fox. A lot of you have probably watched the game with De'Aaron Fox versus Lonzo Ball. Up in March Madness, UCLA versus He's Kentucky. Dog. Put bro. up 39 on Lonzo. Man, this kid is good. I can see him being a great look. Actually, I'm really happy with this pick for the Kings. This looks to be a great pick for the Kings. I'm really, really happy with what uh, De'Aaron has to offer for the team. Great leader, bro. This is honestly a great all-around pick. He's really a fighter, man. This kid's a fighter. Man. He's gonna get the out. The thing that's crazy is exactly. like, yo, this is the only job class in the NBA that had the most freshmen drafted for rookies. So I know this is probably going to be like, metaphorically, this is probably going to be like a high school child for the best varsity player, if anything. Like, they're all trying to battle it out for some Adidas gauntlet type thing. Because this is really about to be a very competitive year for who's going to, who wants that rookie of the year. These are all freshmen who probably had unsettled beef before in the NCAA. Cause I know Darren Fox is trying to get at Lonzo, man. And Lonzo's about to Lonzo, yo, I'm keeping my eye out for him, man. But with Lavar's big talk, I'm really trying to see if he's gonna keep up to all everything Lavar's like pushing up on his back and whatnot. Now we got rookie of the year type stuff, yo. Alright, so we are off to the rookie of the year conversation, and my rookie of the year pick is De'Aaron Fox. And Honestly, man, I know LeVar has boom, been working boom, really, boom, really hard. Blood really, really hard to get Lonzo onto the stage, onto the big leagues and get eyes on Lonzo, man. But with crazy hype like that, it's really hard to live up to that, you know. It's really, really tough to live up to that kind of hype. And honestly, man, I really, really like Lonzo. He's going to be a great player one day. Moving up to the hype that's been created to him by his father. De'Aaron, man, he's, he's been a nice slice, bro. silently eating, bro. Slice. Eventually, at the end of the season, Slashes like that, we just love to get after it, man. It's really gonna work out. It's my really my prediction out. is my money is probably gonna be this draft class. It's probably gonna be the honorable mentions, you know, the names that didn't really get to get the big lights in the whole draft class. That's that's probably gonna be in that wide little range. That's probably gonna be the big all star. That's just my prediction, cause that's what usually happens. Everybody's hyping around all these new up and coming freshies. Like yeah, that's cool or whatever. They're gonna get their time. Tell you, I see. It. But, um, yeah, honorable mentions. I got a couple little players in mind. Little guys you should watch out for. Main one, Dennis Smith Jr. Yeah, E.D. Way, you know how we keep it on the show, we keep it the lit way. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Bro, ever since high school, this kid has been getting after it. You might be a little bit surprised at what Dennis Smith Jr. has to offer for the, for the uh, Orlando Magic, so watch out. And I... We will catch you guys in the next bit. one, y'all! Yeah. Chronicles. Yo, Chronicles on everything, boy. Add me. Underscore Chronicles. Underscore. That's on Twitter. And then after that, bro, add me on Snapchat too. She sweating underscore me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, son. All contact info will be you, left bro. down below. I'm funny, bro. Do not forget to like and, and I subscribe. Sing too, Yo, bro. I'm not playing with you, bro. And I sing too, bro. I'm not playing with you, bro. And I sing too, bro. Come, I'll take cheeks in 2K too, bro. Yo, bro. Come on, bro. You see that red button right under this? Press the button, bro. You know you want to. You definitely don't want to miss on any other stuff. Smash We're gonna that, be put bro. on our channel. We got some crazy stuff coming out. Don't miss out, bro. Don't miss out. You know you don't want to miss out. Subscribe, like, tell your friend, tell your mama. You know what to tell. Tell everyone you know. Anything you want to talk about, bro. Anything you want to talk about. Leave it down below. Stop playing with me, bro. Let's get it. Uh, uh, play with that pussy like pick a uh, Play with that.